Hello, it's Helen from Journal With Purpose. I just wanted to pop onto YouTube today really quickly to let you know that I've got a new class launched on Skillshare and it's called Journal Your Way to a Better Life. It's a class I've been wanting to film for ages now because it's probably the part of journaling that I'm most passionate about and the class project for this one is going to be creating a vision board in your journal. So something along the lines of this. And I know people here have seen these vision boards when I've done flip throughs of my journal and have asked more details about it. So that's all included in my latest Skillshare class, along with a workbook to get you thinking. So lots of kind of journal prompts. If you're on Skillshare already, then great, I'll leave the class linked down below. If you're not already on there, on my link, if you click that, you can get two months free access. And this will be my fourth class on Skillshare. I've got one on starting a creative journal, uh, brush lettering and creating beautiful vintage journal pages. And if you're new to Skillshare, it's definitely something that's worth trying out and seeing whether you like it. I learn lots of new techniques on there, like doing watercolour, urban sketching, and there's lots of other great journaling workshops on there too, and things about blogging, marketing, pretty much anything you can think of. After this bit, I'll leave a couple of snippets from the class so you can get a feel for what's going to be included. Well, thank you ever so much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you really soon in the next one. In this lesson, we're going to be starting on my favourite bit of the whole class, which is creating a vision board in your journal. And it's also the class project. So once you've finished creating that vision board, I would absolutely love it if you would take a photo and post it in the projects down below. And that way we can all see each other's vision boards and feel inspired by each other. And don't worry if you feel like you don't have all of the answers yet. This workbook is something you can come back to time and time again and develop and deepen your responses as you get more familiar with tackling these types of questions. I love creating vision boards in my journal because it's something I know I'll look at every day and it's more private than having it hung on a wall. In this lesson, we're going to look at the dreaded obstacles that will no doubt crop up once you start trying to work your way towards a better life. There will be obstacles that you can probably already foresee and some that you can't. And there'll no doubt be a combination of things that you can do something about and some that you just have to roll with. In this lesson, we're going to look at how you can review your plans as you progress and also make any adjustments. You can see on these pages that I set my plan out for the quarter by focusing on what I wanted to do each month and breaking it down into different sections, just like we did earlier in the class. I also then completed an end of quarter review. And this is something that I like to do every three months. Thank you so much for joining me on this Skillshare class. I really hope that you've enjoyed it and that you feel inspired to start using your journal to create a better life. It's something that I believe in so strongly and I'm really pleased to have had the opportunity to share my process with you and how I use my journal. If you haven't already taken a photo of your vision board, please do, I can't wait to see it. And if you've got any questions, please just pop them in the discussions tab and I'll be really happy to help you. Thank you once again for taking this class and I look forward to seeing you in my next class very soon.